hi guys uh, welcome to tetwer bridge youtube channel uh, today we are going to discuss about svi so svi is nothing but switch virtual interfaces they are also called as l3 interfaces of the switch or vlan or uh, a vlan interface or a gateway so svi is uh, or the Nothing but their VLAN interfaces. You, uh, they are like a loopback interfaces. Whenever we want uh, a gateway to be created in the uh, switches, you can use SVIs. So, so SVIs are used as a gateway. So, gateway is nothing but entry or exit of a, any network. So, here I created a simple lab for uh, showing the how to configure uh, SVIs and uh, let's uh, do it so I will uh, configure a simple VLAN config VLAN 2 and I will move one of the interface to this VLAN interface FE zero by one to seen yeah so I have configured this switch in this switch VLAN two and I'm gonna create a gateway VLAN interface in this switch. Let's take consider this switch as a core switch and this switch as an access switch. So we will generally we configure gateway in the core level or distribution level switches. So let's let's configure this switch with this VI. I am going there, I went there, I change this. Yeah, so here we will create a VLAN 2 and we will also create interface VLAN 2. As soon as I created interface VLAN 2, that is what nothing but SVI, immediately the interface came up. Now we will assign some IP address like oh, let's take this 192.168.1.1 So I have assigned this interface IP address as 192.168.1.1 So now I am going to allow this VLAN over the network till that uh, access layer switch so if a 0 by 1 is connected if a 0 by 1 is connected to if a 0 by 3 of this access switch so we have to allow this vlan till this uh, switch so that the machines in the vlan can Packet uh, generate a packet, these packets can travel across this VLAN so that this switch can understand the VLAN to packets here. So let's me configure this port as trunk port. This side configuration is done. Now this side I'm gonna do configuration. I'm just creating a trunk link uplink for VLAN to be allowed. Now I'm going to assign an IP address here. 
in the same subnet let's take this one this I will configure as done so let's ping the its gateway I have not done anything they just moved this machines to the VLAN 2 and I have configured an IP and IP address to the uh, VLAN interface here which is SVI now let's see how uh, they will communicate on verify the configuration so first of all whether it got a whether we have to check this whether this machine got IP yes it got IP and we check whether this IP is reachable whether it is reachable to its own IP address or not yes now why now let's ping its gateway yes it is reachable see it is pinging the island 1.1.1.1 which is an IP address of the VLAN interface of SVI so in this way you can configure uh, a VLAN interface in a, a L3 switch L3 switch is nothing but a, a switch with a routing capability switch which has a routing capability is also called a L3 switch so this L3 switch you can configure this SVI and you can use that SVI interface VLAN interface as a gateway that's all. Thank you very much.